midfield. Stonehill able to keep it in the middle. Now a chance here with no goal goalie in Alexandria Sylvia. Turns around past the keeper and fires it into an empty net. Now it's 1-0 Stonehill. New Haven just trying to find a way to stop the bleeding. And another turn over here. It's Casey Smith. Smith comes through a bunch of New Haven defenders. He'll rip a shot, and she finds the top of the net. Goal given. And it's a second for Casey Smith in 11 seconds. Dangerous pass. Now Michael has it taken away from her by Sylvia. Sylvia still with the ball. Plays it down for Ledoux, and it's rolled in by Taylor Ledoux. A fourth for Stonehill. Knocked the shot down. As Smith was bidding for a hat trick there. Quick turnover there right off the restart. Now in the middle for Casey Smith. Smith goes down low, and Carly Anderson knocks it in. It's 5 nothing Stonehill. Bottom of the circle, Sylvia centered it back. The shot from Garou at the top of the circle was denied. Now Casey Smith with a chance at the hat trick, and she will get her third of the day. She'll find Smith. Smith over to Gifford. Gifford a chance here, and her shot finds the back of the cage. With a chance from just the outside of the shooting circle, Mackenzie Greenberg for Werner. Now Werner brushes it through the legs of a New Haven defender, Kathy Sink. And then a shot there coming in, and it's another goal for the Skyhawks. Morgan Greenberg. Rage is here from Stonehill as they continue to play it along the back. And now it's forward for Gifford. Gifford knocks it away from Michael. And now into the middle for Casey Smith. Smith looking for goal number four on the day, and she will get it. It's 9-0 Stonehill. Here's Lauren Cleary setting up at the top of the circle. Comes all the way through for Grace Pickering. Now down low for Gifford. Continuing to sweep it along there. Finally finds space behind. And it's another goal for Stonehill. Alexandra Dillon will get it. Here's Woods. Looking through into the middle. Has Taylor Ledoux down low. Ledoux sweeps it in, and it's another goal for Stonehill. And another goal for Taylor Ledoux, her second of the day. I think we're definitely starting to connect more. Today we're definitely using a lot more of our midfield transfers, which is what we've been working on. And it's starting to feel more of team wins or like team losses instead of like individualized where it was a lot last year. So I think we're definitely coming together as a team and the wins will start coming. It was using the midfield transfers more because going up the field we would force it up the sideline a lot. And another one of our focuses was getting, if we're coming down the sideline, to cut middle. So we did um, the cutting middle a bit today, but we still need to work on that. Yeah, um, definitely taking every chance I get because I know um, with our three starters, Spoons, um, Carly and Casey, it's a really strong three front. And um, I love being a part of it, like knowing all their knowledge and their skill. Like It's been great so far. I mean, I think I see a lot of myself in her from my freshman year because I did the same thing as her. I, every time I went in, I took as many opportunities as I could get. So she definitely is like soaking in the knowledge and trying to take as much as she can from us. Yeah, it's definitely been like tough at first. It's like a whole new level of play compared to high school, but um, just taking everything I can, like gaining more knowledge, getting more insight from the coaches and other players. Like, I'm doing the best I can at that, and I'm hoping to de like develop it all in the field as best as I can. And as far as like the team, like I love it. Like it's been so welcoming, so enjoyable so far, and I can't wait for more years. Uh, we're focusing on Bentley, which is on Wednesday. So what we're gonna focus on is we're just gonna come out hard on Tuesday for practice and we're just going to keep moving forward and working on what we need to do in order to get to November. I mean, we came out focusing on a lot after Merrimack. Uh, we had some trouble with spacing in the middle of our field. Um, you know, it was a back and forth game. It's always a great game with Merrimack. So obviously coming out, um, bummed that we lost, but a lot of great things from the game. So just focusing on um, what our midfield was doing, marking, how we're marking, contesting the shots. So um, it was a heavy week for us in terms of what we were working on. A lot of, um, we had our thinking caps on a, a lot this week. So I think they really translated it over to today's game. Yeah, Tay has so much potential. I mean, she's just a natural goal scorer. So she finds herself in the circle, she gets herself in the right spot um, and knocks them in. So I think for her, a, a lot of development has come from the knowledge of the game. And, and each day she's getting better and better and soaking it in. Yeah, she absolutely does. I actually think this is, you know, her third year. Um, where we're seeing it the most, that she is marked consistently in every game, um, and she's still able to make things happy. So she, or happen. She's not getting out of the play. Um, she's just unstoppable when she has her speed going forward, and, and you see it pretty often this year. That's a big focus for us. Uh, 
having other people that score besides Casey. So um, when she is marked so tight, she's able to leave the space and set somebody else up. Uh, so we love seeing multiple people besides Casey getting on the board uh, and kind of how we're doing it. And you know, again, Casey, the last few games was also the one with the assists. So today I thought it was great that we had other people scoring goals and also other people setting up the plays. Yeah, we need a strong, uh, you know, they have off tomorrow, what, rest their legs a little bit, but uh, we need a strong practice on Tuesday, opening up with the NE10 on, on Wednesday. Every single game is a battle. Uh, so, you know, getting back out here, focusing on what we need to focus on in terms of our outlet and press, uh, and then get back after it on Wednesday.